I am a god gamer, or at least that's what I've convinced my chat over the years. The reality is that I play games nobody else wants to play because I'm paid to play them. I just have more time than you, I'm not better at video games than you. And I can prove that if you just look at my rank in any popular video game. Rocket League, Valorant, League of Legends, I am bad at all of them. The one that I'm the best at is technically Valorant, but I'm still hard stuck platinum after playing it for three plus years. Which is why this video is especially cool because I accidentally just won a Valorant tournament. Okay, yeah, I say I do things on accident a lot. You know, I did try in the event. What's the accident? The fact that a human like me should not be winning events like that. I did not plan to win it when I signed up. I did it because I was asked by offline TV and I figured, well, hey, this will kill a couple of stream hours. And then what happened? Well, hey, I won the whole fucking thing. But let's go back to the very beginning. Now, as you might have suspected, I'm not good enough to get invited to normal Valorant tournaments. So I usually get invited to creator events. And the biggest creator events are always run by offline TV. They do one or two Valorant tournaments every single year. Broden from offline TV asked me to do the tournament and I said, it sounds like fun but he did say the format was a little bit weird. And it turns out, it was a lot a bit weird. You see, Valorant's a team game, so most tournaments are a stack of five people that are stagnant throughout the entire event. So you usually want people on your team to be at the highest skill level so they can carry you to victory. However, this tournament didn't operate like that. This tournament was a solo queue tournament. Your teammates every single game would change and they would look at your individual success, whether you win or lost, how many rounds you won or lost, how many kills you got to determine who moves on to the finals. So I was playing within the plat to diamond tier, which is funny because I'm only ranked gold right now. And there were five other people who were also in this tier. And whichever two people placed the highest through five games would end up going to the finals. Basically, I don't need to win every game. I just need to win more games than four other people in my division. And if I do, I will be the plat diamond player of one of the finals teams. Now, very quickly, I realized how bad my division was compared to the rest of the field. One bullet. This is so bad nice for try, us. Nice try, <laughs> nice try, nice <laughs> try. I mean, the very first game, the pro on my team, Cryo, almost got triple my kills. I was just Kazooie sitting in the backpack, letting Banjo do all the work. Prowse is looking for the ace, Blade storms out, and lands it with the right click. In the second game, I found out how that can happen in the opposite way. Because the pro gamer on the opponent's team literally got over triple my kills. At this point, I should also note that there was a weird rule where for the first round of each half, you were only allowed to use your knife, and you weren't even allowed to use abilities or plant the bomb. And so the only real value I added to my team was coming up with this genius strategy. Wait, we're knife on CT, right? Yeah. yeah. Why don't we just do five in knife. TP? They can't plant. Yep. Just run around. Break no, 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 the, we just time. stand in a TP I'll, like, together. Stall? Yeah. Because they're not allowed to. Yeah, plant. they're not allowed to. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way that's it. legal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I'm TPing. Yeah, Loki, this guy's alone. This is Asuna, I'm TPing. He's saw us, he saw us, he saw us, he saw us. All right, now we wait, now we wait. Yeah, circle, circle this, circle this, circle this. Circle. Everyone get in a corner, everyone get in a corner. There you go, I'll block too. What do we do now? Come in the TV! This is a saw trap. This is literally a saw trap. 30 seconds left. Yeah! No, they got in, they got in! Enemy One enemy remaining. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, let's go, let's go. Supreme strategist. In the next two games, I won one and I lost one. And every time I won, it seemed to be because I was on the same team as 100 Thieves Cryo. I'm just gonna say it, that guy's pretty fucking good. For the fifth game, I was in a very simple spot. If I win, I move on to the finals because I will have won three games and lost two, which is better than four other people. But if I lose, I'm out. But I just had one problem. I had to play with Lily fucking Pichu. I like Lily. I think Lily's cool. She's good at a lot of things. Valorant is not one of those things. Ah! No! Oh, I did not know he was going to go from there. And through four games, she had lost every single one. And on the fifth game, the one I had to win to make it to the finals, she was on my team. This game started terribly. We lost the first five rounds, and it felt like we were just getting outmatched. Their pro, Sim, part of the Moist Moguls, was instantly killing everyone. Wait, no. 
Oh, you are definitely getting a pay cut. Oh, 100%. <laughs> but we rallied our team morale, and with the help of Cryo's shot calling and some clutch kills from Shifter, we were able to bring the score 9-10. to 10. And when the score was 9-10, to 10, we enter the craziest round of my Valorant career. Instantly, we were able to take it from 5v5 down to 5v2 after I killed somebody through the wall. And then almost immediately after, three of my teammates got killed, and it became a 2v2. But luckily, I had Shifter alive. Uh, uh, who fucking died. And so then we enter a position where it is a one versus two with some of the best players on their team. If I win it, we tie it up 10 to 10. If I lose it, it is 9 to 11, which I don't have to tell you why. That is a bad omen. But then I do the nastiest shit I've done in my fucking life. Uh, up, down, back, so I hit it. Oh, oh, baby! Oh, my God. oh baby! Hey, yeah, hey. wolf me, wolf for me. God damn, baby. A 1v2 clutch. I have to win to move on. And what do I do, baby? I show up. And a little teabag to tap it off. And after that, we didn't lose another round. We won 13-10 and we were moving on to the finals. It's a huge momentum shift. And the way the finals works is they take the top two performing players from every single division. Two people who are gold, two people who are plat, two people who are immortal. You get the idea. And I was the second in my group. Holy shit, he's bald. And here to tell you about today's sponsor of the video, Naraka Blade Point. If you don't know, it's a melee-focused battle royale with insane depth. I played it on stream for a couple of hours, and I just got a taste of how good you can actually be at the game. Wait, what the hell's going on? <laughs> You had no chance. It's also the best time to start playing the game because on August 9th, they announced their new collab with Nier so you can play with 2B or perhaps 9S to look very cool and badass and you can even use their weapons in-game. You can also join in-game events to get these crossover cosmetics for free and you can also play the game for free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation right now. Click the link in the description and thank you to Naraka Bladepoint for sponsoring today's video. And at this point, it's worth telling you the person who scared me the most in this event, the person that I would have to play against in the finals, my friend Nick. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck this happened, but they invited everybody on the yard, and Nick somehow made it through. And he was against me, and he knew exactly how I played. So I, I don't want to be in this spot. It's a bad spot to be in. It's a scary spot to be in. But I have a saying. If you can't be good, be lucky. And I was very lucky because I was teamed up once again with Cryo, the person who was on my team, the pro who was on my team every single fucking time I won. He was once again on my team for the finals. And the finals were simple. 5v5, best of three. Whoever wins is the champion of a Valorant tournament. Whoever loses, well, you got close. Unfortunately, we started the final match by losing the first knife fight round and then the preceding round as well. But I clutched up and we won the next couple of rounds, tying the game two to two. At this point, it's worth noting, I'm not good at aiming. I just don't know how to click ahead. I get really nervous, my heart rate rises and I shake my mouse all over the place. So what do you do if you're not good at aiming? Well, you lurk around the map like a little rat. And so on the fifth round, after it was tied up two to two, I found myself in this position. Screen's dead, screen's dead. By myself, my whole team on the opposite side of the map. And then I ended up in a 1v1 against Nick. And I'll let it play out. Back off. One nice flank, nice flank. If he hit that shot, I don't think I would ever stream again until I died. But I wasn't done there. I also killed the best player on their team. 100 Thieves, Asuna. I'm killing pros. I'm killing my friend who's immortal. I'm doing big shit. And after that win, I was kind of feeling myself. So I went out to look for a kill. I'm with you, Lud. Okay, don't need you with me, baby. I don't need you with me! Look at what I do! Okay, thank you for helping me there. I actually don't yeah, think I would've gotten the kill. Actually, no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that kill. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Hold, hold, hold. And I put my body on the line for my team. Because you only have a certain amount of time to defuse the bomb before it'll blow up. And so as I'm defusing it, I get half of it. There's basically a checkpoint, which is just enough time for my teammate to come in, do the rest of the defusing, 
and we win 13 to 6 on the first game. And I played so damn good. I was so proud of myself. I've never been so proud playing video games in my life. I thought maybe I'd have a career as a pro player. That is, of course, until the second game started. <laughs> the second game did not start off so hot. After the first round, they had eight wins and we had four. However, I have to remind you of the weird rule where at the start of every half, we do a knife only round. And our team was weirdly good at knife only. Look how good Danny is at knifing 1v1. This is a skill that I didn't think could exist, but he had an insane read on people. He played knife 1v1s like Street Fighter players play footsies. Oh, 50. Oh! oh nah. Nah. Danny, nah. you're so good! Who goaded? You're a knife god. <laughs> After the knife win, we were able to carry a bit of momentum, and we brought it back. We had eight rounds, and they had 10 rounds. Bear in mind, first to 13. And if we win this game, we win the best of three, and I'm a Valorant fucking champion, man. But to this point, I was not playing very well. In fact, I was playing the worst out of both teams. I had five kills total, and the top frag on my team, Cryo, had six times as many kills as me. This is the job that they gave me because of how bad I was playing. I was supposed to stand here like a sentry turret and shoot anybody that walked by me, praying that they would not turn to the right and kill me before I kill them. While my team does, I don't know, things like planting the bomb, killing the opponents, taking map space. I just, I just stand still for 30 seconds every round because I cannot seem to do anything else at all. Luckily, my team's good, and we won the round, and we brought our total up to nine rounds. Again, first to 13 wins. They are two away. We are four away. After that victory, I went back to my victory formation, aka Close sitting in the corner and letting Close my team left. do all the work. Concussed. Good job, Cryo. Hey, don't worry about it. I got it. If anybody walks through here, they are going to highly regret it. <laughs> Now, a few times this video, I've highlighted rounds where I've done some insanely clutch shit to win the round. But more rounds than that were clutched by my teammate, Cryo, who was just able to kill everybody on their team if he was feeling it. And this is one of those rounds where he was feeling it. Close left. Close left. Concussed. Ripped it. Uh, I'm flashing you, hold just in case. I was giving myself a wall. We can go back, we can go back. Let's go back. Right, 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 right. I'm right. One enemy remaining. <laughs> hey. Damn. Nice shot. And with that, the score was tied up 11 to 11. I'm back. I'll burn, 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 burn. Dude, one more, one more, one more on the left side, left side. Nice. I need to get that fucking kill. One enemy remaining. <gasps> I nice knew it. Try. Wow. This round hurt because not only did we lose the round, we were one round away from losing the entire thing. And their bottom frag, their worst player, is the person who clutched it. And I have barely been able to clutch anything this game. Little did I know, however, the next round would be my chance. We enter a two versus three. If we lose the round, we lose the game. We have to go to a game three. And what do I do, baby? I come alive! Nice. <laughs> and with that, we entered overtime. And overtime in Valorant is super simple. You just have to win by two. So you have to win both on attacker side and defender side. We lost the first game of OT, and I once again was assigned to the corner. I don't mind being in the corner, all right? It, it's, a, it's, it's not an easy job. A lot of people would crack being in this corner, but not me, buddy. Not me. I, I'm, I am resolute. I am confident in this corner. I understand the ins and outs of this corner. And I even like to get a little crazy. So at a certain point, my teammate said this. And then you do you. You do you, baby. Yeah, break, break. And me doing me was trying to shoot at this thing through the wall. But because I made such a ruckus on this site, I convinced the best player on their team, Asuna, to teleport because he thought there was a bunch of people there. No, it's just me being an idiot. And now you're about to watch the greatest 1v1 of all time. Yeah, me, yeah. the worst player in the lobby, versus Asuna, the best player in the lobby. Instantly, I decide to molly him off. Then, I smoke him off so he doesn't know where I am. He smokes me off. I walk through the smoke because I don't fear anything in life. 
I can open the door for you with a smoke if you want. <laughs> I'm in with it. Oh, you're in. Okie dokie the shit out of him. Perhaps the worst fight of all time. But you don't gotta be good, bitch. You just gotta be lucky. All right, get good, Asuna. You'll get there, baby. Nah, you'll get there. I, I believe you have a career in front of you, for sure. In, in video games or whatever the fuck you do. This wall's gonna be weird, okay? A little bit. My One enemy remaining. Good nice shots. <laughs> Bro, oh. Austin has never seen an IQ like mine. Uh, I did shit he's ever seen before. <laughs> and again, it's worth clarifying. Every time I show you something cool that I do, it is a fraction as cool as the stuff my teammates do. Just look at Tenzin's clip the very next round. Uh, one, two, two, two. 72. Wait, you cause? Oh, oh my god! Tenzin, you're crazy! Yeah, yeah. And then finally, on the fourth round of overtime, we were able to do this. Nice. 4v2, 4v2. I'm reloading right now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, perfect. One, One just TP'd. We're chilling. Let... Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we'll just let Danny go. Let's play the bomb. Sure. He has okay, low time, okay. low time, yeah. You're good, Danny. What a good name! Nice. Yo! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Lego! What a good Dude, name, that Danny. That was banger. sick. Holy shit, that game, bro. What? Oh my god. I, I'm like Kazooie in the backpack right now. <laughs> Look at the kills, dude. Asuna and Cryo almost got 100 kills combined. I got 12. They got four times as many kills as me. That's insane. And that's how a dog shit player like me accidentally won a Valorant tournament. And apparently, I went a pretty cool night for it. So you're going to see in the background of the stream soon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, goodbye. See you later. I, I'm a god gamer for real now. I really, I really should get good at video games.